The views expressed are not necessarily those of KSCJ and Powell Broadcasting Company. This program is not intended to replace the advice of doctors or other clinical providers. Consult with your practitioner to ensure the proper course of action for you. Welcome to When Things Aren't Going Well on AM 1360 FM 94.9 KSCJ. This program is dedicated to your mental health wellness and brought to you by Family Services, a United Way partner agency. Here's your host, Art Silva. Good morning and welcome to When Things Aren't Going Well. This show is all about your mental wellness and how you can help yourself navigate the daily highway of life. Our show is brought to you by Family Services and an anonymous sponsor. Family Services is a United Way partner agency serving the Siouxland community. Joining me today from Family Services are licensed therapists Brenda Geisinger and Rosie Strunk. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning, Rosie. Good morning to you. Good and morning. How, how are you both today? Uh, peachy keen at this point in time. <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer for early Saturday morning. <laughs> I'll tell you. Well, good morning, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, we're going to uh, talk about today, um, I guess the whole topic is going to be uh, change. And we're going to do it a different way, and I'm l- looking forward to our show today because Rosie's going to take us down uh, the path of who moved my cheese. Now, I don't know if you folks remember this, but it was one of the uh, pop psych books that came on. I want to go maybe back about five or six years. I've read it. It's great. And it puts a nice parable into um, today's life, uh, looking through the eyes of, of four four different people. So with that, Rosie, who take moved it away. Cheese? Yeah. Take it away. <laughs> Um, well, I, I read this book many ty- many years ago, too, and I've used it in uh, different ways in my therapy with uh, clients, be it children, adolescents, or um, adults. And the theme of the book is there's four characters, um, Sniff, Scurry, Hem, and Haw, okay? And there's the Sniff, Sniff and Scurry are two mice, and Hem and and Ha are little people, and they live in this maze, and they are going to get their cheese in the sense of um, what they what they want in their life. Okay, and so they're eating their cheese, and then all of a sudden, um, Scurry and Sniff recognize that the cheese is changing, and it's becoming smaller, and so they think, well, better go look for new cheese. So, which means they're looking for something else in their life to, to sustain them or, or to help them. And so, Hem and Ha are just continuing in the same pattern that they've been repeating and repeating what they're doing. And all of a sudden, one day they walk into where the cheese is and it's all gone. And they go, Who moved my cheese? Where'd it go? <laughs> Who took it? Why should they take it? It's our cheese. <laughs> I need to I need to get our cheese. And so him is denying that this is a big issue yet in a sense because he's thinking somebody's going to bring back the cheese and everything's going to be fine. Ha is a little bit kind of wondering is this going to be change or is this is somebody going to bring it back or not. So Sniff and Scurry go off and they find another another cheese, which is what they're looking for in their life. And him and Ha are still working on what should we do. And Ha finally decides, you know, I think I need to go and look somewhere else because this is not going to work (laughs) in a sense. And so he starts to venture out a little bit, comes back, scared because it's a new new behavior. He's leaving someplace that is not safe in a sense, ventures out, comes back. Him is still saying, no, ain't going to do it. Too risky. Not going to do it. They got to bring my cheese back. Going to change here. <laughs> they got to bring it back. So him or Ha decides, well, I think I need to keep moving on. And so as he leaves um, the maze and gets in the maze, which is kind of like our life, our life maze in a sense, he leaves the maze and he starts to look And then he finds little bits of cheeses and he brought one back for him and said, you know, hey, I found this. Do you think you want to come with me? And he goes, no, too risky. And so Ha decides, you know what, I think I have to do this and take care of myself and do a change. And so then he starts moving through the maze and ends up at where there's a big cheese where Sniff and Scurry are already there having a good time. (laughs) So it's about looking at how we deal with change 
and how we struggle with change and something new. That certainly is a interesting way of putting it, the maze of life. Oh, we can do everything, open the front door and go out. Oh, enter that maze of life. Yeah. Uh, but that's, you know, can we equate cheese with happiness? I think cheese is something that we are looking for in our life. So it could be um, happiness. It could be a marriage. It could be um, a new job. It could be um earning lots of money. It's something that we're striving for or desiring in a sense in our life. Can you think too much about that? Can you get into like a a mode where you're just thinking too much about your cheese, just thinking about your cheese? You mean like it becomes an obsession? Not only an obsession, it comes like a roadblock. Maybe do you take action? Uh, Well, I'll go back to Ha uh, in the story. He didn't do too much. Uh, Hem was the one that ventured out and found a little bit no, so Hall was the one who ventured out. Hem, Hem is the one who stayed there and hemmed all the time. And I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm talking about Hem. What's Hem, just dreaming? You know, Hall did something. He went out right. and did something. So can you just get caught up in your dream? Well, I think Hem got caught up in denial, and denial that there needed to be a change and that there was something that needed to be different. for. It. And he wanted to stay the same. He figured something's going to come to him rather than he venture out and take a journey in a sense and see what's out there. So let me ask you, Rosie, does your cheese last forever? Do we always strive for something that um, is different for us or that is good for us in some way? Or what it, We're always looking for more cheese in a sense, in some form or fashion. And then we base that, we risk that against the risk factor. We put it against the risk factor. Some people are more risk takers than others. Well, some, when I think of, what's their name? The scurry and sniff, sniff. Um, they don't think a whole lot. They just do. And so I, there are people that will. They'll get an idea and then they'll do. And then they're reaching a new change or a new behavior or a difference in their workplace or whatever there might be for them. So it sounds like a, a pretty positive thing. What's the obstacle uh, to, um, to to finding a cheese. What are some of the obstacles? Well, I think that depends upon people in their own, own way. Because when I look at this and I look at the maze of life and how we all are, there we're, many of us are scurries, um, sniffers. I'm a haw. I'll tell you that right now. I'm a haw. I take, I, I have to think about something and kind of digest it. And sometimes I get rebellious. Um, but then I go, okay, I need to move forward. Uh, and so I think all of us, I, I think I forgot your question. <laughs> I think what? all of us kind of um, figure this out for ourselves. Yeah, I'm sense. just wondering, like, uh, it, it, we're dealing with change. And, like, I don't think we ever find that magic button that, okay, I got it. I'm set for life now. It's always changing. Things mm-hmm. are always changing. Mm-hmm. I kind of look at life as that, um, that being, in the, being on a train and along the way, you hit different stations. And mm-hmm. maybe at one station, your parents get off. Maybe at another station, you meet new friends. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I look at always change. And how do people handle that? How do they, um, some handle a little better. Mm-hmm. Uh, some want change. Some mm-hmm. people want something differently. Mm-hmm. And some people don't do too well when you move their cheese. Mm-hmm. And I've worked with people like right. that. <laughs> right, so, right. I mean, no kidding. I, I think what we can do, and um, we're going to be coming up on break here, but how about when we, uh, we do the second half of our show, let's talk about some of the stories that you can share with us on what people can do to kind of navigate that maze. Um, and how do we deal with our friends? Uh, that, you know, one of two ways. I can see that either some of them jumping on board and want to help manage change by the example we set. And I can see some of them being, I don't know if this is true or not, and you can help me, being jealous. Mm-hmm. But some people was able, so other people were able to do it and they couldn't, and you got all the happiness, and where's mine? Mm-hmm. So those are some of the things that we will talk about when we come back from break. And um, uh, this is really fun because the book was great. Mm-hmm. And uh, if, folks, if you haven't read uh, Who Moved My Cheese, I highly recommend it. It's not hard. Now, there aren't a lot of pictures in it, but I think you're really going to enjoy the <laughs> book. It's a great parable and how you take a look at life and going forward, and you'll find out how normal we all are. So uh, with that, we're going to move to our break. Uh, you can go grab another cup of coffee. Uh, 
get some more cheese, uh, come back and join us, and we'll be right back here at KSCJ when things aren't going well. Let's face it, it happens to all of us. However, the pandemic has compounded all of our lives and activities. Even the simplest tasks seem harder. Hi, I'm Brenda Geisinger, the Chief Operating Officer at the Boys and Girls Home and Family Services. Family Services is a United Way partner agency serving children and families of our community, and we're here to help. If you'd like to learn more about Family Services, please contact us via email, website, Facebook, or phone Mary Pickens. At Family Services, we change lives. Welcome back to When Things Aren't Going Well on KSCJ. Here's Art Silva. Welcome back to When Things Aren't Going Well. I'm Art Silva, and with me today are my friends from Family Services, Brenda Geisinger and Rosie Strunk. And if you weren't with us for the first half of the show, that's too bad. But the second (laughs) half is going to be fun because we're talking about who moved my cheese. And if you aren't familiar with the book, it deals with change. And um, Rosie gave us some uh, great synopsis of the book and how it relates to uh, finding our happiness and other things we want in our life and navigating that that maze of life. Uh, So we're going to now talk with Rosie and see if she can help us with some personal experiences that we can kind of relate examples that can relate to what we talked about in the first half of the show. Rosie? Okay. Well, when I use this book, and sometimes I'll give it to um, a client who's really struggling and maybe just um, in denial yet, or goes, well, somebody's telling me I need to do something. And so I'll have them read the book and I'll let them go and tell me who do they think that they are. Um, And many of them will probably say that they're him or ha in a sense. And so in working with someone, uh, I just remember a situation where uh, I was working with a couple, it was quite a few years ago, and uh, this uh, gentleman was saying, you know, my wife is always arguing with me. I don't pick, you know, she always complains, the da 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 kind of stuff about what, what I'm like at home and how I take care of things and stuff. And I kept asking him, you know, okay, so is what you're doing working for you? And he said, no. And I said, well, let's look at then what is one small thing that you could do that would make a difference in how your daily life would be and that your wife, might recognize in a sense he goes and he thought and he goes well i shouldn't argue with you and i said no that's too big got it one small thing and so we narrowed it down and this is where you're you're testing kinds of things and working on change and do one small part and he said you know what i think she always yells at me when i leave the bathroom a mess i am going to clean the bathroom or clean up after myself when when i get done and so I said, well, let's do that for a week. See what happens. Let's test that out. See what that kind of behavior would, would be about. And so he then did that for a week. And he come back and goes, you know, we didn't argue so much. And the wife was going, yeah, because he cleaned the bathroom up all the time. I didn't have to get after him. And I said, so you're moving through this maze a little differently. You're taking one step at a time to create some change that is going to make a difference in your relationship with each other. And so what we did was in looking at, because he was a haw, I think he was kind of a haw, didn't want to do things. But then as he started to recognize, you know, I I need to change some of the way I think. And I need to look at um, thinking more positive about what I could do differently rather than complaining about what, what is being said to me. And so he started to do... So I said, let's do this one behavior for a month. Then pretty soon it became a habit, a new habit. That was a positive habit. So after that, I said, well, what what is another one thing that you can do? And so what ended up happening is that with his change that was going on, things he was doing differently, the relationship changed. It got better. And they started to communicate. They didn't have as much stress. Um, The wife was happier. Uh, and so there was a big change in how they started to relate to each other just from doing small, simple things that makes a difference. Well, it's that simple. I thought it was just about putting the seat down, you know, and you weren't. <laughs> you, well, you, that was a part of it. <laughs> that was a early. part of it. <laughs> I'll tell you. That if was you a part of it. you paid attention to that, get, <laughs> she'll get your attention. <laughs> but that's good to hear. It's a way to go through um, and work out an issue. And, and, and you can see how, when you look at it that way, uh, how it impacts two people. Yeah, because their cheese was um, communicating better, enjoying each other. 
and not arguing so much. And so their cheese ended up being where they were enjoying each other at home rather than, you know, fighting over things that that were kind of going on in, in the household. And as Paul Harvey would say, the rest of the story is he went out and started a cleaning business and now he's cleaning house all over the place and he's enjoying it. But, you know, I, I just think that's great. How you, it's usually the littlest things. Sometimes. It's usually the, some, the littlest things can really set off a, a boom, you know. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's good for sharing. Uh, let, me, let me ask you this question. Um, should a person keep an eye out for more cheese? Let's say you got cheese and you're okay. You want more cheese? Well, I think in life, we're always looking for um, other things that we desire, in a sense, that helps us become, you know, growing and better people and, and is it adventure or whatever. And so I think that we're always looking for, for that, in a sense. The big thing about what happens in the, the maze, when we talk about the maze with the book and stuff, is it's um, the why people don't move differently is they're afraid. Fear is a factor. And if I'm afraid of something, I'm not, I'm going to stay with what I know rather than what might be out there because I don't know what's out there. So fear is a factor that I think lots of people sometimes will need to take a look at as in asking the question, what am I afraid of? Uh, And if they're able to answer that, that might make a difference in how they move through the maze or move through a change that might be occurring, be it personally or in a workplace, or in the community, or whatever they might be doing. So I think fear is a factor lots of times with change. You know, it's so how, how easy we get into comfort levels and really don't challenge ourselves, just kind of accept where we are. And okay, I'm right here, but uh, I think the worst thing would be having the regret. Mm-hmm. that you, 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 I wish I had, and I didn't. Mm-hmm. Even if you tried and failed, you, you tried. Mm-hmm. And you know the outcome of it, and you can evaluate that, and what did you learn? But when you don't do something and you have that regret ah, mm-hmm. down the road, I wish I had. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so really, change is okay, but boy, you highlight a real good topic, and that's the fear of change, the fear mm-hmm. of stepping mm-hmm. out of, of your comfort level, comfort mm-hmm. zone, and, um, and, and taking some steps. Brenda, I want to take you out of your comfort zone because you've been... <laughs> Real quiet. <laughs> Real quiet here today. I know like a mouse. Get it? As a mouse, I love it. <laughs> Would you, anything you'd like to share with us on this? I think change can be scary. It can be fun and exhilarating. Mm-hmm. Um, just taking a look at yourself. And even if you make a small change, it's focusing on yourself and where you want to go. And sometimes it's okay to be comfortable and just staying but you can't stay the same forever. That's all part of being human is growing and where you're at and what life is facing you and what you're going to do with it. What if someone tries to take your cheese? Uh, get out the mouse trap. That would That is a good that one. Work. Yeah. <laughs> Poisons. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you, it's always like a challenge. Um, and we, we could take one course of action uh, as an individual and the other person's reaction to that. Sometimes uh, not everybody shares your success. Um, not everybody shares your success in finding your cheese and finding your happiness. Mm-hmm. And how can we help those people, you know, that just don't get it and uh, somewhat, you know, envious of, of your, your happiness? I think it's being true to yourself and maybe having a dialogue about that change, Um, but be true to your heart. Well, again, I would probably ask the question, what are you afraid of? What is there that's holding you back? What's the obstacle uh, that might be there? And if it's, many times the obstacle is manageable. It's how you, how you look at it, how you think about it. And, and then also, you know, change can be very gratifying and it can be an adventure and it can be a lot of fun. Like, Brenda had said, and so I think it's like looking at those type of dynamics for you. Well, this has been really a, a fun show today, and I want to, we're coming up towards the end of our show, and I want to thank Brenda and Rosie, and also thank our listening audience uh, for joining us this morning. Uh, you know, we talked about who moved my cheese and everything, so folks, I'm going to tell you, we saved the best for last. If you think you need a push, and you got to get out the door, and you're afraid of that change and that fear, 
call Mighty Mouse. Here I come to save the day. Okay, and uh, we'll get you going on this cheese thing. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Jay and Dora and also to Rick Collins. Rick, we love you, buddy. We're thinking of you. If you have any questions or comments that you would like to uh, or suggest a topic or request a shout out, please call Family Services at 293-4900 and ask for Mary. All episodes are archived on the Family Services webpage and under the programming tab on the KSCJ website. We'll be back next Saturday morning at 7 o'clock right here on KSCJ Worth when things aren't going well. Have a great week. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Happy trails to you.